This video is about der Wörter, or the words. What are the words? Let's start by looking at a few sentences. Der Tisch ist schön. The table is beautiful. Dieser Tisch ist schön. This table is beautiful. We know that der means the. Dieser is a der word. That means this or these. It is called a der word because it is in the same family as der and will take the same endings as der, depending on the case and gender of the noun it precedes or is in front of. Let's look at some other der words. We have dies for this or these, welch for which, solch is such or those kinds of, manch is some, jed every, all every for plural words only, or all. In addition to those in the chart, there is another, yen, that means that, those, yan, but it seems to not be very popular, so I'm leaving it off the chart. Less to learn is often easier. I say it doesn't seem popular because many books leave that word off altogether. If you prefer to learn it, go ahead and add it to the chart. More than anything, these words are just more vocabulary. You have to learn new words in order to speak a language. Everyone learns dare words at different times, so I have included the full the chart below. You can see the endings after the those in the chart, and those are the endings that you would add to dare words. Let's try an example. Every Buch ist teuer. Every book is expensive. How do we say every? Looking at our chart, every is either yed or all, depending on whether or not the noun is plural. The word also needs an ending. The ending is based on the noun after the word. We can see that our word, our noun, is buch. What gender is buch and what case is it? Looking at the gender, figure out is buch plural? You should be saying, no, it is not plural. That means that we will be using yade and we will be finding an ending for that word. Based on the gender and based on the case of buch. So look at it again. You should be saying that buch is neuter and nominative. And if that's true, what would our answer be in the blank for every? You should have yedes. Jedes Buch ist teuer. The best way to practice this is to just try some examples. Here are six for you to try on your own. You may need to refer back to the previous slide in order to look at the charts. So pause the video now and try these examples. You should have Ich hasse alle Prüfungen. Prüfungen is plural and accusative. That's how we found our ending. Solche Autos kosten viel Geld. Autos is plural and nominative. If you thought it was neuter, it's because you didn't notice that it had an S at the end. Ich mag manche Kinder. Kinder is plural and accusative. Welchen Wein kaufst du? Wein is masculine and accusative. If you had ER for the ending, it's because it looks silly. It's a question. A lot of times in normal sentences, the subject is first, the conjugated verb is always second, and then usually something else, maybe like an object, is third. Here it's reversed order because it's a question. So which wine do you buy? You are the subject. You're buying. Whichever wine that is. That makes Wein accusative. For number five, wir fahren mit diesem Zug. Zug is masculine and dative. It's dative because of the preposition mit. Ich lerne jeden Tag Deutsch. Tag is masculine and accusative. Not all examples are masculine or plural. These are just the examples on this page. For the neuter example that I included in this slide, go back to the previous slide and look at Buch. If you have any questions, you can always ask in class.